goal for this week and it was to find ways to get uncomfortable. We've arrived. This is the spot. This is the canal. This is the place. And it is the end of the week. It's Saturday and I don't feel like I've done very much to accomplish that goal. Alright, first layer is off. But today, I think I'm definitely going to get uncomfortable. You're really doing it. There's no going back. So the plan is to go take a dip in this canal that's close by to the house. And it is the end of January. I live in the Netherlands and it's very cold. Right now it's one degree Celsius outside. You're probably wondering, why? Why, Janelle? Why would you do that? So the reason I chose to do this, or the reason I chose this goal, was because I think that it's important to put yourself in uncomfortable situations on purpose, and then try to find comfort in those situations. And I'm hoping, or my theory is, that this builds resilience. This builds tenacity, strength in those type of situations. Um, and I like the aspect of being able to control what type of uncomfortable, what type of uncomfortable situations I'm putting myself into. So that's my little theory. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I mean, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Marcus said he was gonna join me, but he's chickening out. It's two degrees outside. So lame. So lame. There's a 5% possibility that I will actually enjoy mine. I will take that. Feels fresh. Oh. <laughs> Such a baby. So there's no sun. Or the sun is trying to peek through. And it's actually zero degrees. But we're doing this. We? What do you mean we? <laughs> I know, I know you'll be convinced. It's real windy. I don't know. Well, we're doing pretty good, but just walk I like how he's like, you're going, like... Like he's bringing me to like my demise. We've arrived. This is the spot. This is the canal. This is the place. Alright, first layer is off. I see regrets in your face already. No regret. Excitement. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Should I take off first, you know? Like, which is the worst? I think I'll keep my hat on. Yeah. Oh boy. You're really good. There's no going back. There's no going back. Okay. Get in there. Yeah, the timer? Yep. I think so. I started once you're in there. You started it? No, you gotta get in there. Started. You just gotta get comfortable feeling cold, you know. Good. Oh god. How does it feel? It's terrible. <laughs> 20 more, 18 seconds left. Okay, I'm getting tired. Well, yeah, oh, just boy. hold there. Oh, this is a long 18 seconds. And you are done. Ah. Oh. I this. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. That was really hard. <laughs> Try off the water from your I, skin. I can't really move. My arms feel like logs. <laughs> okay. I did it. You should get dressed quickly. I wonder how cold the water is. Around five, eight. See, he gave me a thumbs up. People in the boathouse can see your butt. Yeah, it's likely. I actually can't believe you did this. 
nice knowing how scared of cold you are so that was an experience yeah oh man would you do it again um i don't know i'm not sure you didn't get like this rush like good feeling i, I think i would do it again i i would do it again Especially if you did it with me. Yeah. But like, once I got in the water, like, the, the like burning sensation on your skin is incredible. Like all of the breath got like pushed out of my lungs. Like I was hyperventilating. It, it wasn't on purpose. This wasn't my like Wim Hof breathing method. <laughs> that was all <laughs> involuntary. It was good. I feel warm. <laughs> oh, my fingers are so cold. My fingers on my toes. Since I followed through with my getting uncomfortable plan, I'm rewarding myself by visiting this French bakery in Hilversum that I've been wanting to go see for some time now. It was recommended to be recommended to me by um, my brother's really good friend who is French. So we're gonna go get some croissant and some baguette. What are you getting? Baguette. Oh, and a croissant and pina chocolate. Pina chocolate. And uh, something else. So we got two croissants, one pina chocolate, a croissant, which I'm not really sure what that is, but it looked cool, so I got it, and a regular baguette. And actually the guy who was checking me out, he was like super young and accidentally gave me two extra things that I didn't pay for. Um, but I gave it back because he seemed a little bit flustered. I felt so bad. Marcus was like, you should have kept it. Yeah, free bread. Mm -hmm. Just good bread. Very chewy. Thanks Christoph for the recommendation. <laughs> First reaction? It's good. Oh. Look at that. It's not like that good. I mean, it's Ooh, like the butter. It's like other bakeries. No, you can taste the butter is better. This is good butter. What do you know about quality bread? Everything. <laughs> I think that's the end of today's adventures, to be honest. We're gonna go home and go behind our laptops and try to be productive and do some stuff today. I'm trying to get my license here in the Netherlands, so I need to go study the theory book. Boring. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.